They call it the Star. It's like a full-on Cowboys theme park with eating, shopping, and hardcore fanboying that's unlike anywhere else in America. Seriously. I mean, when the Jones family does something, they do it right and Texas-sized. The streets are lined with images of the greats and the sidewalks emblazoned with their numbers and stats. And the current generation of players all come here to punch the clock. Here's Cowboys PR man, Joe Trahan. The thing about the Dallas Cowboys is obviously we're a sports franchise, but also we lead the league uh, in a lot of different things. We try to be innovative in technology, in artwork, and everything else, along with trying to win Super Bowls, which we won five, by the way, which we're gonna get to. As soon as you step inside, you feel a sense that you're standing in the presence of greatness and standing on greatness too. But like a moth to the flame, those trophies are so shiny. The Cowboys of the obviously the early 70s won two Super Bowls, started yep. at the Tom Landry days, sure. which were excellent. But then Jerry came, uh, bought the team in 89, and a couple of years later, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. And these are the real trophies. And across the hall, the real rings. Dating back from 71. Oh, wow. Now, each one of them is different in its own unique way. You start out with a modest sized Super Bowl ring, yeah. right? Not too bad. And it gets a little bit bigger. Woo, it's cold in here from all this ice, y'all. Cool. Does okay. everyone in the organization get uh, one of these? Yeah, so I've been waiting on mine for a while. Uh, I'm hoping <laughs> to get one one day. So, but yeah. they look really nice, and that's the good thing is it, it reminds you. You're reminded of greatness, and you're reminded of what's become before us and what, what are things to come. And that makes you work harder as a member of the organization. I'm trying to get In to time. that. So, exactly. In time. All right, Chet, so right here is the Nike Star Walk. We're about to show you the 10 most significant moments in Cowboys history. I'm going to test online. my knowledge. How many of these do I know? Okay, let's find out. How about Emmitt Smith crushing the rushing record? Or the 10 straight winning seasons under Tom Landry? Or even Roger Stavek's creation of the term Hail Mary, shown here frame by frame. Whoa, yeah, no the great way. Tom Landry, the winningest coach in franchise history. That is his amazing hat, like you have an amazing hat, sir. He did too, you both have great taste. Uh, I don't think mine will ever end up in a glass case like Probably this. Probably not, though. just being nice. Over here, this is actually a fun one. So when we were trying to figure out, okay, we got a, this Dallas franchise, what are we gonna call it? What's the name gonna be? So you look at these sketches, it's very possible we could have been the Dallas Steers. Wow. That could have been our name. But we could have had a boot on the You could have had a boot with kind of like a sheriff star, which I guess that's cool. Ah. I don't know. This is like a living Cowboys museum. I mean, I'm amazed at the places they let visitors go. Get oh, up here right now. I want you to do a press, press conference room. like Coach Garrett. This is where Coach Garrett or uh, our ownership will do a press conference. So you look good up there. We're just focused on winning games out there. I'm doing the best I can for my team. Uh, I want to just want to thank all my sponsors and everybody. Uh, no further questions. <laughs> uh, we have a very tight show, very tight schedule here. So we got to keep moving. We're all right, thank y'all. All right, it's good. Come on in. This is uh, basically if you ever watch an NFL draft on TV. Yeah. Um, you've seen everything that kind of goes on. This is where our ownership, so uh, Jerry Jones sits and Coach Garrett, um, and this is where all the very, very important decisions for each NFL yeah. draft is made. Just make it like I do my fantasy football team. Auto draft, boom. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I think and you need to get out of the chair. We need to get out of here. I think you're done with that, Chet. <laughs> this entire facility is designed to inspire. To inspire players to play hard and fans to fan even harder. All right, Chet, so right here is the Dallas Cowboys touchstone. It says a privilege, not a right to play, coach, and work for the Dallas Cowboys. So we're about to go to work inside Ford Center, so I, I need All you to right. play like a cowboy today. It is a privilege. Ready to go? It is a privilege. Shuttle run. Ready to oh, go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're going to throw oh, up. Oh, yeah. You're going to pass up. Bring me back to my glory days. I think you can do it. Yeah, piece of the glory. I'm sure the Cowboys scouts are watching, and I want them to know that I am still a free agent. But even if I have to watch from the sidelines, Go Cowboys! To see the full episode or to get info about how to visit this spot, trip on over to thedaytripper.com. Or here's some other videos you may like. Viacom Dios, amigos. <laughs>